Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to another Kaguya-sama reaction. It is time to check out season two, episode five. And I believe this is going to be the start of the student council president elections. Miko versus Miyuki. Very excited to see how that's going to play out. I do believe Miyuki is going to win and he's going to remain the student council president. He's been the council president since season one and I don't think they're going to shake things up in that manner. However, I could see Miko becoming a student council member considering the fact that she has a tie to you and I think it'd be a pretty cool twist on the already cool dynamic we have between Chika, Yu, Miyuki, and Kaguya. If you want to see this in full format head on my Patreon the link is down below. Thank you so much to all of my Patreon members if it wasn't for you guys I would not be able to produce as often as I do. Oh and if you see the light flickering in the office yeah the office is haunted sorry about that guys. All right let's jump into it. Miyuki Shiragani wants girls to fall for him? Why would he want girls to fall for him? So my man's, my man's like shining with energy, huh? Do you have a little bit of a crush on him or something? <laughs> You're more approachable, dude. <laughs> what? Now he has people inviting him to do things? <laughs> Period of popularity. Watch Kaguya not like his eyes like this. <laughs> he just asks her, dude. That's not what's happening, though. <laughs> That's not what's happening in the least. Hmm, they think your eyes aren't intimidating anymore. <laughs> dude, really? Here's the thing, she liked the president before he looked all relaxed, so... It will work. <laughs> Yo. It's because I think she already likes him, so she's not noticing anything different. What? Oh, what's what's on her mind? It's having the opposite effect. She doesn't like his current eyes. I knew it, dude. I'm going to ask Kashiwagi for a... Uh, Advice instead. <laughs> well, that's right. She came to Kashiwagi for advice in the past as well. Mm. That is a good concern. <laughs> oh my god, the narrator, bro. True love. Hmm. She's helped you in the past, right? So. <laughs> Sweating bullets, man. <laughs> I said it. Chica? Oh boy. <laughs> so I came running over. <laughs> oh boy. Take one for the team. <laughs> uh, just had to add Chica into the dynamic, huh? Oh, the opposite of what Kaguya wanted to hear, dude. Or at least Chica's out of the picture now. <laughs> but she's already done the damage. Permanent damage, dude. She got me you time, huh? That's gonna that's gonna hit him hard, bro. Cause he's not good with the ladies whatsoever, right? <laughs> Why does he look like a pretty boy all of a sudden, bro? <laughs> uh, I love how like both members have come in and just gave their advice. Oh boy. Of course he's the <clears throat> No that's right, his he, he started working hard again. <laughs> so he doesn't have the pretty eyes anymore. But Kage is gonna love it though. <laughs> He's in pure ecstasy, bro. <laughs> what the hell, dude? And Kashiwagi's like, what? <laughs> Kashiwagi loses. Okay. <laughs> and hey, Asaka, that's perfect, dude. You harbored a realistic fear. That was perfect. Hey, Asaka came out of nowhere, dude. Yuji Shiryani wants to sing. He's not singing. Dude, I did the same thing whenever we had to sing in anything, bro. 
every week. They don't do it every day, right? It's just every beginning of every week at least. If it was every day, that'd be a little much, man. Flawless? You look like a nutcracker, dude. He's not good at singing. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, there's Ice Queen Kaguya's face, dude. <laughs> I literally was just thinking that, bro. I was literally just thinking about how she helped train him, dude. It's time for another training arc, but to train his voice. Right. She's a pianist, remember? She was a really good pianist, but she left at four years old. <laughs> Only kind of. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it sounds like ghouls, dude. <laughs> the dog, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love how it showed, like, what was that supposed to be? Maybe, like, Beethoven and somebody else. Like, two famous classical musicians. <laughs> so... I like when we get Chika Miyugi uh, skits, you know? Do you really fully understand? I don't know about that, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, well, well. Uh, he, of course, he has no confidence in uh, being able to sing. <laughs> Yo, it's Coach M Coach Chica. Leave it to Mama. <laughs> Remember when he says, "I trained that child." <laughs> At the end of the volleyball one. Yo, I love it, dude. Her like getting up on stage, the music building up. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, there's Hayasaka. It's like find Wado, considering everybody else had black hair and black uniforms, and she had blonde hair. She's being proud, like she was during the volleyball. Uh, our mother who raised us. <laughs> He's so proud of Yuki, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, suffocating Kaguya, bro. My dear. <laughs> to be continued, though. <laughs> She's like, I gotta do it again. Oh, this is the Hayata Hongo guy that we didn't get to really see before. He withdrew his ca uh, his candidacy. <laughs> to kick them down, dude. <laughs> He's not wrong, though, dude. Right, her mother's a diplomat. Of course, Hayasaka's pulling up dirt on uh, Miko, dude. Well, she is part of the morals committee, isn't she? So she probably has nothing, no dirt in her closet, dude. I don't think they've interacted this season yet, right? The episode that focused on Miko, Kage wasn't there until the very end. Yo, I don't think Miko is gonna like Kage, bro. There it is. She doesn't like her, bro. She thinks she's gonna get poisoned? They're in high school. Stop. She is part of the morals committee, dude. She probably failed every time because she's too strict. There it is. Her ideals are very strict. Really doing this to a first year Kaguya? Yo, she knows it's a deal. Oh, she's asking her not to go for the f now, but to wait till next year. Okay. She's not going to do that. Just knowing who Miko, the character Miko, for such a short time, she won't do that, dude. He's not going to like this. She's so. He's so, so much on the straight and narrow, so. Of course, she's going to love that. <laughs> oh, man. And look how the conversation changes. Dude, I really hope she loses and she does become like a part of the council somehow because she's so like strict and she's so like on the straight and narrow that it could make for some really crazy situations between her, Kaguya, and Miyuki. Oh, she's saying she's going to become the president and then make them a part of her student council? I think it's going to be the other way around. I can't see Miyuki as anything other than the student council president. It would be a pretty good situation, though. But look what she's talking about, bringing order back to the academy. She's trying to be way too strict. The, the students aren't going to be all about that, dude. 
<laughs> yeah, no, no romance. Bruh, yeah, nobody's gonna vote for her, dude. Vice President Chica. She hasn't heard about that yet, but Chica said she wouldn't wouldn't uh, abandon her friends. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fly. I highly doubt the student body is going to vote for Miko. She's being way too strict, but I really do think Miko is gonna end up joining the student council. It is time to jump into season two, episode six, and I believe the election for the student council president is going to begin in this episode. Of course, Miyuki versus Miko. I believe Miko is going to lose and become a member of the council. If you wanna see this in full format, head on my Patreon. The link is down below. Thank you to all my Patreon members. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be able to produce as often as I do. So thank you so much. Election Commission. <laughs> well, him and him and Miko don't have a great relationship, dude. I don't want to make Miko, you know, smile. Hmm. Well, she's lost all her other elections in her previous schools, so. <laughs> I think there is, dude. Maybe too honest. Way too strict, though. Yeah, they're not. It's kind of interesting. Is she just rattling off? She's not really getting their attention at all. Oh, Kagi is going to do the speech uh, on, you know, vouch for Miyuki. People will listen to her because she's known here. She's been a part of the pre uh, council. Well, that definitely got everybody's attention. Konnichiwa. Of course he did. Yep. Even the teachers. Who's that? Dude, she has graphs and everything, bro. I mean, granted, she already has... They already have uh, results from being a part of the council already. So she just brought a teacher over to the people that are against Miyuki. The other students. Oh, a festival. Okay. So, are the candidates going to speak now? Bro, that was very powerful. Yep. But you didn't speak about them, though. She's definitely not feeling it, it, it looks like. Mm. This poor girl's out here, you know? And Oh, here we go. Now the student body is going to start laughing at her. Again, so this has happened to her in the past where she had stage fright. Oh, okay. Well, it probably shatters her confidence every time, dude. Oh. All right, you. I like you, dude. Damn, Miyuki's gonna come out and help. Flashback time, dude. So these two have been like friends since a young age. And this is probably why she became so strict. There it is. Well, it's deeply rooted in her since a young age. She's not a bad person whatsoever. She's just a little grating, that's all. And right then and there, that's when she started to crumble. Surely, but you know, slowly but surely she started to crumble. Because Ishigami Yu said, with every single loss, it gets worse. She's fearless, man. She's not afraid of uh, doing what she believes is right. She was picked on for it. And there's the thing. Vote for me this time. Uh, you know, kids are cruel, man. Because they already have a preconceived notion of her. Of course, but, you know, you have to understand, too, she kind of put herself in this position as well. It's not right that she's made fun of. Here comes Miyuki. Yeah, mandatory shaved heads. And that's exactly why she doesn't she didn't, doesn't win and all these people just glare at her like that. She's too rigid, man. She needs to lighten up a little bit. Go ahead. Ooh. He just gave her the floor, basically. Really hope she doesn't start having feelings for Miyuki, dude. <laughs> Oh, she has charts and graphs, too. Let's go. Okay. I mean, they are somewhat rich, and if they're not rich, they're just hard workers, but most of them, I would assume, come from money, I would assume. 
not like they are debating each other it got rid of her stage fright you know and all those glaring eyes the teacher's like absolutely right yeah it's just that's too much <laughs> you know I appreciate that but you know <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna win though. It's it's still too strict. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. You might as well let the girls shave their heads too then. Of course, you're getting rid of a person's individuality. Mm -hmm. Not everybody does clubs though. Damn, more than a half an hour debate. Okay. People are standing up and watching and, and they're they're enjoying it, so of course she did. But she's gonna end up being uh, a part of the council. We see it in the opening. But she literally she knows her stuff, dude, and she'd be a great addition to the council. They're gonna praise her. Mm. And she just gained uh exactly. She just gained some followers, people that believe in her for the coming years. <laughs> rubbing shaved head trending <laughs> and for her friend to see this it's absolutely beautiful right she sees her friend who's tried so hard finally being appreciated by some of the student body she's happy man <laughs> wait why is he carrying cock yeah what uh, okay but Miyuki did the right thing and there it is. They're going to invite her to the student council. I want to make Miko smile. I guess that's, you know, you wanting to. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. He only won by 40 votes. Isn't getting called. <laughs> right? Just a little bit, Kaguya. Stop being an ice queen. Oh, are we going back to when her stomach was hurting? Yeah, she was nervous that they wouldn't be able to continue on as the council, man. Damn, dude. <laughs> Yo! Hey, Asaka. She fucking disappeared fast as fuck. She got knocked out. Okay. I see. So that was before. That's how Chika found her. Okay. Nobody's supposed to know that Hey Asaka goes that works for her and goes to her school or whatever. <laughs> I love how this girl's like the mouthpiece mouthpiece for her, dude. Oh, the girl with the glasses is gonna join too, maybe? Exactly, because he won't. Oh, okay. So she's not gonna join. He's definitely grateful and happy about it. Hmm. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> he's still going to be the treasurer. <laughs> he's definitely going to choose them. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kage is in the nurse's office. <laughs> He's too busy. <laughs> He's back to being the president. Yeah. Yep. This is what you wanted, Kaguya. Bro, she has her like, like <laughs> she has her on the, bro, she has her vitals on the phone and stuff. You did some shady stuff, Kaguya. Yeah, but he doesn't know anything about that. He wasn't aware of everything you've done, though. Yo, I like how the sound's going in and out. Gambling and prostitutes? He didn't call you his wife, though, bro. <laughs> Mental disorder, bro. He does like you. I see. He's starting to get a different perspective. That's not true, though. Exactly. And Hayasaka's been saying this in the very beginning to her. 
Did you just climb out the window, bro? Hayasaka is a little ninja, but we saw her uh, do the whole spy thing in the beginning of the series uh, season. So. He did the right thing, though. He helped that girl, which is his underclassman, which is the right thing that a student council president should do. That's right. I love how the music kicked in. That just relieved any anxiety that she had, dude. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, she was out the window still. He does, yep. I wonder if she's still jealous, because remember she start, she was trying to get Miyuki to fall for her, I think, last episode? And the student council is back. But Miko's going to be a part of it. She's definitely going to come in at the end here, right? <laughs> the sass, yeah. And he has the fans still. <laughs> here comes Miko. This is just going to add a brand new dynamic to the whole situation, and I cannot wait to see it in the rest of this season, dude. Note, they gain a new member. Really like that episode. All right, man. So there we have it. The sixth episode of Kaguya-sama season two. Of course, this is the halfway mark for season two, I'm pretty sure. And we have a brand new member as a part of the student council. And I'm super excited to see how this is going to play out in the second half of Kaguya-sama season two, because we already had the dynamic between Chika, Miyuki, Kaguya, and you, right? And it was already an amazing dynamic. It was always funny. It was fun to watch. But now we're getting Miko, who's a very strict individual who believes believes in morals and rules being thrown into the student council dynamic where things can get a little dicey. Things can get a little spicy, right? So she's definitely not going to like this. And I cannot wait to see how that's all going to play out. I would really like to see some interactions between her and Ishigami Yu, considering that they know each other from a young age. And he was the one that stepped up and told Miyuki that, yeah, he wants her to win by a landslide, but she doesn't want to see her be ridiculed. He can't help seeing somebody being so serious and laughed at. And that really gave us some characterization for you. And it made me like the character even more but i cannot wait to see the later half of this the second half and like i said how the dynamic is going to slightly change with miko now a part of the group but guys what are your thoughts on this episode of kaguya-sama season two episode six let me know in the comments below remember to smash that like button i greatly appreciate it and as always guys thanks for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you very soon for another video